Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this Jala Monday, week 162. Let's kick into it immediately because I have a couple of ideas in my head and I just need to get them out of my system and on the paper. I am starting with Treasure from the Chalky Finish Line. And I'm just going to apply it with my brayer. Now I want to protect the next page because I don't want to paint the rest of my journal so that I can go all the way up to the edge. For my second layer of paint, I'm going to go in with the same color, except that I'm going to lighten it up by adding some white to it. And that is what you get when you don't mix your paint before putting it on your craft sheet. Now I'm not going to mix them completely. I do want to keep some of those lines into the color so that I can use that Next layer, I want to add some gold. Again, just going in. continue to use that blob of paint that I had on the side but something came up so I had to take care of that and when I came back the paint had dried so I'm making a new mixture and this time I'm adding more white to it so I'm going clearer and clearer and clearer well not clearer that's not how we say it in English um, a lighter is that how you would say it? How would you say it? Tell me. <clears throat> I took out my honeycomb stencil and I want to use it. Well, yeah. Okay, now I am going to repeat that at the top here with a bit more paint. But 
that not going as far as I did with the one on the bottom so that it communicates with with communicates with one another. And now it's time to clear this. I know that I want to go in with black modeling paste and the opposite stencil, but before I do that, I need to stamp. If I don't stamp now, I will not be able to do it anymore before because of the texture. So I just took one of my London, New York stamps. Some black archival ink. I'm not over inking my stamp, I just want to keep it light, but I do want this to remain flat on the surface, which will make it easier to stamp. Now, I'm not stamping upside down. That is one. And then of course I want my little numbers, which seem to become a signature thing. And another thing I want to do before adding the modeling paste is to add some black paint using my palette knife on the edges. Now, I really want to stay close to the edge. I don't want to go too far into the spread. And I'm actually just going to stay alongside the edge. Let's do this.
and that is making it interesting too. Okay. I'm going to leave this to dry, but I want to add some more here as well to really frame this side of the spread. But first, this side needs to dry. That side is still drying, but I can already add a little something here. The only thing will be to get my stencil flat enough. not going to push my luck because my stencil is moving way too much but this is what I wanted while it was drying I was already looking at my word I took out the sticker sheet number two with the mixed media words and I want to use the word epiphany for today because today I had an epiphany yesterday I had an epiphany it's the period of epiphanies. Um, but first, I'm going to add my modeling paste here at the bottom so that my spread has something to rest on. But before I do that, I want to go in with some washi. Just because I can, and I want to use this one. be that visible but that's okay it's just adding accents and that's enough and just because I can That's going, that's going to give me too much black. So if it wasn't for the extra modeling paste, I would be adding this. But as I am going back with some more modeling paste, I'm not going to do this. This strip is enough. I already took out my red paint to add some contrasting accents, but this one keeps lifting up one of the not so good sides of washi tape. So I'm going to force it down with some ultra matte varnish. The rest will be kept in place because of the modeling paste, but this one needed some help. It's not dry yet. I wish I had my red paint in one of these thingies with a needle on so that I could scribble but I don't and I don't have any little bottles left so I need to come up with an alternative and I'm just going to scrape it on with the back of this one although it is pretty round and I would like it to be more pointy so maybe I could use this it 
So I'm going to still use my circle stencil to trace, but, and this is going to be interesting, I need to scrape it on. That's one. I'm going to do several like this. But in between, I like to clean my stencil to make sure that I don't have any red paint underneath. I have my little box of wonderful pieces of fabric, but I don't think I have this kind of blue. I have all kinds of turquoise, but no blue. So can I do something with this? No. I'm just going to add a piece of white one. Just as small as my little word, so I might as well
going to retrace my circle with black just to ground it a bit on the paper it's floating a little too much This one has had better days. I need something a bit better. I'm going to give my word a tiny bit of color because it is way too wide compared to the background. some crackle stamping as well just to make it a little, little less harsh and standing out I still wanted some more framed. I'm still missing something, so I was thinking that I might, from my February stickers, 
use this one underneath here. So I don't know if I can still lift this. And then just pop this one in between to add a little something extra. I'm going to walk away from this, even if I'm not entirely happy with it, but I know why I am not entirely happy with it. This is coming from a very strange place inside me, which has everything to do with acceptance, uh, acceptance of myself. So I'm being very honest here with you. And the rest of this talk is one that was for my patrons only. Sorry. That is all I have for you today. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with a new video this Thursday and next Saturday. We will be talking about connecting you with your creative enthusiasm. Meanwhile, don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses. Mm -hmm.